I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have another new and interesting things video for you. I have lots of stuff. I, uh, I think I actually skipped last month, so bear with me while I go through all of this stuff. So, first couple of things that I wanna talk about are the large things so that I can move them out of my way. So this big old mamba jamba is a, an air filter. And this one is from Careful, huh? Careful, Care I, whatever. Anyway, the company did send it to me. You can get it on Amazon. They might even have their own site, but I will link all of that in the description box, as well as all of the links for anything that I mention. If I have any sort of discount codes or affiliate links or anything like that, I will also put that information in the description box. So make sure you check that out. Okay, so this guy is actually really great for larger rooms. They say for like, you know, living rooms or something. I think the actual square footage was I think it was over 200 feet. It is a pretty big unit. I mean, you can kind of see it's it's large. Like if I put it up here, can we see? It's not too cumbersome, I guess. You know, I mean, it's somewhat sleek. My major issue with this is actually that the back is where the air goes in. And then, and then it has vents on the side. So it blows air out of the side. But I feel like this part needs to be facing the major part of the room, not the wall. So you don't want it up against the wall. You know, in the pictures, they kind of show it next to the couch where it's kind of, you know, up against, away from the wall. And it has, you know, a decently long cord. I haven't even undone half of it because I don't usually put it that <laughs> far into the middle of the room. So it has these buttons on top, which are, what do you call that? Capacitive touch, you know, where you don't actually press anything in. And they can be a bit difficult to use at times. Also, if you accidentally bump into it, it will like turn off and sometimes permanently you have to turn it back on. Sometimes it turns itself back on, depending on how much you've bumped into it. Um, but anyway, you've got your on off, you have a sleep mode, which is nice, it's very quiet. And then you have three different speeds and a timer, which is great because, you know, if you only want it on for a certain amount of time, for whatever reason, you know, you're gonna be leaving soon, I don't know. And then you have a lock button so that like kids can't come and mess with it. Well, small kids anyway. And then you, the filter button, which will actually light up when it's time to change your filter. So the filter's in the back and it is pretty easy to change. Um, you can't just like clean them. You do have to get new filters but it's got like a three-way filter system and it is HEPA certified or whatever. And it's supposed to just, you know, help with all sorts of things, odors, pet dander, dust, pollution, all of that stuff. So I've actually had this in my daughter's room for a while because I think she has allergies. I don't know what her deal is. She's had a cough for like several months now and she always wakes up really congested. So I put this in her room and actually we were cleaning her room and like dusting and getting into the nooks and crannies. And so I put this on full blast, sitting it right next to us and neither of us sneezed once. I was really impressed. I think it does actually work, but I would recommend facing this to the majority of the room, not this, even though this is the prettier part. Um, and it's great for larger rooms. So I also have, this one. <laughs> so the company sent me this one. This one is from Lavoit, and they actually sent me one of those salt lamp things a while ago that I still use as a nightlight and I love it in my room. It's supposed to help purify the air, but this one is an air filter and you can see it's just a completely different design and you've got, you know, the whole, it goes all the way around. So it's not like that one where it's just on one side that you know, is in the back, it's all the way around. And then you've got the, the um, thing up here. <laughs> my, my words, they have gone. Anyway, you guys can see what I'm talking about. And again, with the capacitive touch buttons, very similar design. You've got power, you've got timers, you've got a sleep mode, and it's just really nice. Now this one is a bit smaller. It's got a different design. This one is for smaller sized rooms. I believe that the max size was like 160 square feet, something like that. So, you know, slightly smaller rooms. So I have this one in my son's room, which also doubles as our guest room. And I know that like the last time my sister spent the night, they just turned this on just for like the ambient noise and said that they loved having that in the room. It just helped everybody sleep. So, you know, if you like it loud, you have that option. If you don't like it loud, you have the sleep option, which keeps it really quiet. And it really does help filter out all of that dust and cat hair and, you know, whatever else is 
polluting your home air. So I'm really happy to have both of these. I do use them both. I think they're great. I think it just kind of comes down to design and do you have a larger room? This one's a little bit cheaper. I don't know, they're both great. Okay, some other large things. So for my sister's 30th birthday, my husband and I got her this painting. <laughs> It's so big. I told you I had some big things. And I was so jealous that for Mother's Day, he got me the same one. <laughs> so now we're twinsies, we have the same painting. And then for Father's Day, I got this one for Colin. And this is what he asked for. So this is actually the picture that started it all because we saw a much smaller version of this at the Arclight in Pasadena and Colin just loved it. He loved the style of it and it's Star-Lord from Guardians of Galaxy, if you didn't catch that. Anyway, he just, he really loved this art. And so we looked up the artist. When I ordered this, this also came with it, just a small thing of Thanos. And then on the back, it's got like the heroes and villains. And I will link the website and Instagram. It's Art by Jew. And I just, I love the artwork. I think it's fantastic. So we have those two. <laughs> We're just gonna have like a whole house of art by Jew paintings at some point. Ooh, okay, these are from a company called Sweet Apricity. I think I'm saying that right. And they are paleo candy, like these are caramels. These are vanilla marshmallows. And then this one is a caramel sauce. Sea salted coconut cream caramel sauce. I mean, right? And it's paleo. So if you follow a paleo diet, I got you. So basically um, with paleo stuff, if you know, it's like, well here, it says dairy-free, grain-free, non-GMO, AIP. Anyway, so these are really freaking delicious. I tried desperately to not eat them all so that I could show them to you. When it started getting warmer though, they did melt. So I would recommend keeping them in a refrigerator during the summer, <laughs> during the winter, not a big deal. But as soon as it started getting warmer, you know, you know that, that point where your coconut oil is now a liquid, it's no longer a solid, yeah. Your caramels, they're also going to melt. They're so delicious though. They have almost that like, I don't want to say burnt caramel, but like where it's a little extra cooked and it, I just love that flavor. Where it just, it's like a toasty, mmm, mmm, so good. And they're very like a soft, chewy deliciousness. I love those so much. And then this sauce is freaking delicious. Okay, of course I want to put it all over ice cream. I'm sure I could find some paleo ice cream out there if I really wanted to. But what it's really great for is lattes. I put this in my lattes and oh, it's so good. So uh, love this stuff. It's freaking delicious. Marshmallows, I'm not really a marshmallow person. I gave one to my daughter, she loves them, but she loves marshmallows. So, you know, how can you go wrong with marshmallows? But what I did do was I had a cup of coffee, just, you know, I don't put any sugar in my coffee, and I put one marshmallow on top. It melted, and just that little marshmallowy sweetness was delicious. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Just one marshmallow, and it suddenly made my normal boring coffee into a sweet treat. So anyway, I, I just love that they have these. So if you follow a paleo diet or are dairy free or whatever, there you go. Something to look forward to. <laughs> okay, along the lines of food, I have some oat milk. You guys, I don't like milk. I just don't like it. And so I never drink it. I usually put almond milk in my smoothies, but I don't really like almond milk in my coffee. So like when I do lattes, I will sometimes use almond milk, but I don't know, I just haven't been drinking them very often lately. And then a friend of mine, we went out to lunch and she had an oat milk latte and it was so delicious. So this, this brand isn't necessarily my favorite. This one is Planet Oat oat milk and this one is vanilla. I actually got this one for Colin because he wanted to try putting it in his cereal. He really likes eating cereal but he thought that the milk might have been what was giving him tummy aches. So I got him this and he loves it. And it kind of tastes like cereal milk with the vanilla because it's already sweetened. And this brand doesn't have any added sugars but it still has like four grams of sugar in it. It's 90 calories. The one that my friend Monica told me about that was her favorite brand, Oatly, which I think you can only get at Whole Foods. And that one is like 130 calories for a cup, which I was like, whoa, that's a little bit high. And I'm, I really wanna try making ice cream out of it because it does have a very rich, thick, creamy kind of a flavor. And it's so good in lattes, you guys. Oh my God, I wanna buy it just for lattes. So anyway, oat milk, it's my new jam. Like almond milk is fine, oat milk is better. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Oat oh, milk is better. Okay, I have another box of Ticino. I uh, am now on their PR list, which I think is awesome because I've been buying Ticino for, I don't know, a really long time now. I love their stuff. And, uh, and then they contacted me and they wanted to put me on their PR list, which is fun because then I get to try new flavors. So this time they sent me the chocolate raspberry, which I think they had sent me before. Yeah, because otherwise I would have never bought chocolate raspberry. Like if there's a chocolate raspberry dessert or chocolate cake with raspberry sauce, uh, it just doesn't appeal to me. But this stuff is so good, I love it. So Ticino, if you haven't heard my spiel on Ticino before, it's basically a coffee alternative. There's no caffeine in it. Some of them are certified gluten-free, some of them not, although they say they have no discernible gluten in their coffee. And they have several different flavors. They have just, you know, your regular French roast or Colombian whatever. Uh, it doesn't taste like straight up coffee. There's a little bit of a sweetness to it and it definitely, you taste that chicory. That's more of what I feel like I taste is the chicory. And then they add the, ex the extra flavors. So I'm not gonna drink this in the morning. That's not, you know, I drink coffee. I'm not trying to give up on my coffee, but I drink so much coffee, you guys. Like if I'm on my fifth cup of coffee a day, I'm gonna get a stomach ache more than anything. And I know a lot of people are very sensitive to caffeine. Even if you're drinking decaf, you know, there's still, some caffeine in there and also the acidity like my sister can't deal she can't have more than one cup of coffee because it gives her stomach ache so this would be really great for you because it doesn't have any acidity in it at all it has zero caffeine and it tastes delicious and it's just nice to have a warm beverage and with all of the fun flavors you get almost like that dessert action going as well you know i'm trying so hard to lay off the sugar and so stuff like this helps me because it kind of fills me up it's a little bit of a sweet treat and I just, I love it. So anyway, chocolate raspberry, super yum. I think last night I had some caramel nut that was delicious. Some random things that actually came in the mail yesterday and I don't know who sent these to me. I hate it when this happens because you know, I'll work with companies and they'll send me something and then they send me other random stuff and I'm like, what is this? And who sent this to me? There's no note, there's no information. I have no idea. So I basically just did a quick, you know, Amazon search and found these, but you know, uh, anyway, so what this is, this is Summer Max Sport, and it says make arm great again. I'm just gonna move past that. Anyway, it's like a gyroscope, and the way that you use it, it comes with this red string, and it's got a hole in the top somewhere. There it is, there's the little hole. So you put the red string in there, and then you wind it, kind of like you would, like a yo-yo or something, you know, just kind of, wind it in there and then pull it like you're starting a lawnmower and it starts you know the spinning and then you do this to keep that gyroscope moving inside and it's supposed to help with like your hands your wrists your grips you know just sort of strengthen all of these muscles in here and let me tell you after doing this for about 30 seconds i'm like okay that's starting to ache and i can see you know yeah that's a workout for my hand and then you can switch hands and this hand is always so much more awkward oh. can you hear it though and it lights up <laughs> it's a weird it's a weird thing i don't know you guys i don't know who sent this to me why they sent it to me but i kind of like it it's kind of weird and kind of fun. And because I've been doing jujitsu, you know, there's a lot of like grips and stuff. So I could use the grip strength. <laughs> and then the other thing that came in that same box is this round brush, you know, for doing your hair. And I just had to search for nanotechnology, ceramic, ionic, 45, like, and this came up. This was the first thing that came up. But the funny thing is, is it was by several different brands. And you see this little flat panel here? Some of the different brands had their name or their logo here. This one didn't even bother. It's like, thanks, China. I have no idea. I have no idea. But I used it today. It works great. So, you know. <laughs> All right, moving on to some beauty items. Okay, so this is a jade roller. This is from Gendra, and the company sent this to me, and at first I was like, okay, yeah, I've been seeing jade rollers all over the place, and they're supposed to be, you know, good for your skin, right? You roll them on your face, and suddenly you're beautiful again, or young again. <laughs> so it came in this cute little box with some eye masks, which I love and are great, and it came with a little bag, so you can keep it in here if in you want, and 
just, you know, a pretty box. All right, the real benefit of jade roller or facial massage is improving circulation and lymphatic drainage, so you look more glowing and less puffy. How? It's simple. The cold restricts blood flow to a particular area and pressure pushes fluid, known as lymph, to the lymph nodes which process it and filter out toxins. You know, it's a massage. It's like, think about it when you get a massage on your shoulders and it like releases that stress and makes everything better. It's the same kind of thing. So if you've slept on your face, you've had a lot late night, you have going through a lot of stress, whatever, you can, do, oh, it does feel really nice because it stays cold, you know, and it, it just feels like a massage. Like I carry a lot of tension in my jaw right here. <laughs> so I like doing this or like here. Yeah, that's the spot. Oh yeah. Anyway, um, it just feels really good and you're supposed to do it in like certain ways and stuff and I don't know, and it's got a smaller side, you know, maybe like for around your eyes. It feels so good, it just feels really nice. Anyway, this was really cool, so I'll leave the info for this in the description box along with everything else. Okay, and then a couple things that I picked up from Sephora. Um, I talked about these two in a video. I was doing like a get ready with me or something. And this one is the Fab Concealer, uh, First Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado Concealer. So I used it today. The color is almost a little bit dark, but not quite. It's a little on the yellow side. I really like it. It's not super full coverage, which I think is great, especially for the summer. I don't want full heavy makeup. And this does a good job of giving me some coverage. It has a nice sort of brightening effect that could just be the color of it. I don't know, but I really like it. It doesn't sink into my wrinkles and stuff. This is from Supergoop and it's an eye SPF that looks like a beautiful shimmery shadow. And I have like this pearly one. What, I forget the name of this drug fact. So that's probably not the name of it. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's their lightest shade. And you can just put it all over your eye as a base or even just as a wear alone shadow. Um, for those days that like, you know, you're going to the pool or whatever and you're gonna be outside and you don't really wanna wear a lot of makeup, but it's nice to have a little bit of, a little bit of shimmer on your eyes. Just add some waterproof mascara. You're good to go, right? These I got as like samples, I think. IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. I really like this. I think I was going to buy this, but it's really expensive. Like the full size is crazy expensive. Maybe this was my birthday gift from Sephora. I can't remember. Anyway, super expensive, but I really, really like it. And it smells really good. It was one of those things where I sprayed it in my hair and then all day I kept smelling my hair. And I was like, what smells so good? Oh, it's me. Anyway, I really like this. And then this one, same company, Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. Uh, not for my hair type. It's fine, it's fine, it's not a big deal. I think it's more for like, you know, people who have natural textured waves to their hair in my hair. I was like, I could do better. So anyway, really love the texture spray though. And then the final thing, Yep, the final thing is this perfume from, uh, well, it's Replica from, what's it? Maison de Merde Margiela? I don't know how to say that. Anyway, the Replica perfumes, colognes. <gasps> you guys, I love these, they smell so good. So, my signature scent, I feel like I don't even want to tell you. My signature scent is Jazz Club freaking love that. It's, I think that one is actually supposed to be for men, but it has kind of a sweet scent. So I would think that it would be unisex and it smells really awesome. And then during the summer, I love Beach Walk. It just has that perfect beachy goodness. And then this one, I couldn't not get under the lemon trees. I've been obsessed with all things lemon lately. It, it happens like every summer where I just, I love lemon, you know, it's just so refreshing, the scent of it. I love to eat it, I put it on my tacos, I love lemons. So this smells really good. It's actually not as lemony as I thought it was going to be. It has more of a musky scent, but it has a citrusy brightness to it without smelling like lemons, like full on lemons. Yeah, it smells really good though, but it definitely has kind of a musky thing going on. So love this. And that is it. That is all my things. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, all of that information will be in the description box if you're interested in anything or if you have any questions or anything, I will always answer as long as it's not something weird about my feet or something. I do get those occasionally. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.